Chip and Curly, the great potato race. The Spud Festival was just days away and the whole town was getting ready. Spud City Festival. There's Spud Bucks instead of Starbucks, Russa Boulevard, Fry Avenue. Chip's favorite event was the sack race, but each year he came up short. This year he was determined to win the first place prize, a Golden Bushel Award. But there was a problem. A new spud had arrived in town, Curly, and he had quite a spring in his step. He's fast, Chip thought, so he practiced every chance he got. There's our guy, the roasted yams boasted as Chip left by. You're our hometown favorite, hollered the home prize. Still, Chip felt nervous. The morning of the festival, Chip arrived early to study the race path. Meanwhile, the crowd gathered. The couch potatoes lined the race route. The french fries stood with their tater tots. The sweet potatoes practiced cheers. After stretching, Chip high-fived the tots and posed for pictures. Everything was going great until Curly arrived leaping toward the other racers. Chip groaned. To top it off, Curly wedged in next to him at the starting line. Chip gripped his sack and start, stared straight ahead. He wanted to win more than ever. Ready, set, go, said the announcer. The potatoes hopped forward and Chip whipped past everyone. Chip, 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 chattered the crowd. I've got this in the bag, he thought. Keep moving, keep moving, the twice bakes repeated. Chip heard someone gaining on him, but he didn't look back. Look out, the barbecue chips shouted. Here comes a hot potato. And then it happened. Curly pulled ahead. The crowd went wild. Even the couch potatoes stood up and took notice. The waffle fries couldn't decide who to cheer for. Chip hopped faster, but he couldn't catch up. Just ahead, a tree root stuck out of the ground. Chip had his eye on it, but Curly headed right toward it. Curly tripped and tumbled to the ground. A thought sprouted in Chip's mind. With Curly down, this was his chance to win. He zipped past Curly and took the lead. But at the finish line came into view, he felt rotten. Chip glanced over his shoulder and he hashed it out over his mind. There was only one thing to do. He bounded towards Curly who lay pancaked on the ground. Chip reached down and pulled him up while the other potatoes bounced by. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, counted the announcers as the racers entered the final stretch of the course. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. <gasps> Wait, here come two more. Curly and Chip had hopped back onto the path and were picking up speed. In a flash, Curly peeled ahead of the pack with Chip on his heels. As they neared the end of the race, Chip barreled along and gave it all he had but it was no use. Curly sprang across the finish line. In an instant, Chip's dreams of winning were mashed. The sweet potatoes cheered the other racers, congratulated Curly. There's going to, they're going to butter him up now, Chip muttered. He slipped out of his sack and tossed it onto a pile. As he turned to leave, Curly stopped him. The relay is next, wanna be my partner? Chip froze in his steps. <gasps> Me? Sure, no matter how you slice it, would make a great team. A smile sprouted on Chip's face. Okay, bud, let's do it. They practiced on the sign lines. Before long, they were in a groove. Maybe I'll finally win a Golden Bushel Award, said Chip. But there was a problem. A new team had arrived, the Shoestring Fries. They were lean and snappy and moved in perfect steps. The end.